Welcome to our lecture online. So far, we've used a characteristic equation to solve homogeneous differential equations that had two distinct real roots. What happens when the equation has real but repeated roots? In other words, the two roots are exactly the same. Here's an example of that. Let's again find the characteristic equation and solve it and see what we get. So this becomes r squared plus 2 times r plus 1 equals 0. This is the characteristic equation that looks just like a quadratic equation, but we use r instead of x. Now when we solve this, we can factor this. We can say that this is equal to r plus 1 times r plus 1 equals 0. And that means that we have two roots, r1 equals negative 1 and r2 equals negative 1. In other words, the root is repeated. We get the same real value. Then if we want to turn that into the general solution to this differential equation, it'll look as follows. This will look as follows. We have y, let's say it's a function of t, is equal to c1 plus c2 times t times e to the root times t. Now, this of course will be the double root or the repeated root. So in this case, it's always equal to negative, well, in this case, it's equal to negative one. But notice we have c2 multiplied times t. So this becomes y is a function of t is equal to c1 plus c2 times t multiplied times e to the minus one times t. And then if you spread this out, you can write this as y is a function of t is equal to c1 e to the minus t plus c2 times t times e to the minus t. So basically, the main difference between having two distinct roots or a repeated root is that we add the variable here in the second term. So we have c1 e to the root times t plus c2 times t times e to the root times t. And of course, the root in this case is the same root because they get the same value. And that's what you do when you have real repeated roots to find the general solution to the linear second order homogeneous differential equation. And that's how it's done.